Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode we are going to be creating our first block which is going to be a tutorial or we're going to register the block state, the render and the texture as well as the item of the block. So let's get started. First thing you want to do create a new class inside of I inside of init this called block in it this block in it is going to be similar to our item in it but slightly different as we have some different functions in here we can have the first two main functions void in it and void register public set void in it and public set it void register the next function we're going to have is register block public static void register block this is going to register the block to the to minecraft and it will also register the item of the block what we want to do in here inside of register block we're going to have block block and control shift o to import block select net.minecraft.block.block inside of here first thing we want to do is put game registry dot register block all what this does is basically register the block version of our block to the game then we're going to set the creative tab block dot set creative tab to the blocks tab we're then going to create the item version of the block item block like that item equals new item block block control shift o to import item block what item block is it gets the block and it gets the item version of a block which we named to item and then we specify which block we want to get it from block then we need to set the registry name of this item this is just going to be getting it from the block so block.getRegistryName and finally we're going to register the item so we register the block set its creative tab then we create the item version of the block name it and then register the item next we're going to create another function public static void register renders what this is doing is basically just registering what the image of the block in our case it's going to be an or so it's going to be just one image of each side copied onto each side finally copy and paste this and call it register render block block going to be very similar to our item code we're going to do minecraft for thus the game get minecraft get the version get render item gets the item we need to render then gets the item model measure and then we're going to register it but since it wants an item in here, we're going to use the function item dot get item from block. What this does is gets this item version from our block. And then for where it's located, obviously new model resource location. As we had previously. Reference one ID plus a colon plus the blocks unlocalized name dot substring five. In this one, we do not use the inventory as this has found called errors for me. In this, oh, I forgot to put a zero in here for metadata. So it's item.getItem from block zero 
new model retails location. We get the version of Minecraft, render item, model mesher, and then register it as we did in the previous episode. Next we're actually going to create our block. So public static block and then name tutorial or which in the future we'll be using to generate in the world and it'll be actually mineable. We can put it in a furnace and all that stuff which we'll do in future episodes. Then we're going to initialize tutorial law. The tutorial law is equal to new custom or. Then we're going to put that and we're going to create this. We're going to put it in our dot blocks folder which we don't have yet but it will create. And what this is going to do is it's going to extend custom block which I yet to create as well, we'll create that and this is going to extend block since the block, since the or is going to require all the same functions as the normal block but with extra functions we're going to create a custom block which will be used for things that aren't ors and other things like that and then we're going to extend off it in custom or to create something else. So we need to create a constructor, public custom block, and here we're going to want a few functions. Firstly, the name, then the hardness. What the hardness is, is how hard it is to break, and then the resistance. All blocks are going to need this. What's it asking me to do? It's asking me for a super. All blocks have a material, so we're going to have to super. And then we'll just set the material as material dot. Most things are going to be rock, so we'll set it as rock. But if you ever want to change the material, put just put this dot material this dot block material is equal to material dot whatever and you could override this function but for now all default blocks will stay as material dot rock then we're going to want to set the name so click control space to search functions set unlocalized name to name as we did in the item Set registry name to name. I also want to set the hardness to hardness and set the resistance to resistance. Give it a save. Now in custom all, you'll be wanting those to create a constructor. in a super of three things we created before inside of custom block we're also going to add a fourth one on here which we're going to put int meaning integer oh, sorry I forgot to explain what a float was a float is any decimal number and integer is any whole number so for this we're going to put int harvest level the harvest level is how, what level of pickaxe you require to be able to mine it. So we're going to super off the three functions previously, which means we actually have to set them, how do we set them in custom block. And then we're also going to have, have set harvest level. All ores are going to pickaxe. So we put pickaxe in quotes here. This just refers to the tool that's required to break it. And then the level. For our custom R, I'll put 2, which is an iron pickaxe. And that's custom R. Now I'm blocking it, it's going to ask us for four things, which is going to be our name, tutorial R, our hardness, I'll set as 2.0F. 
for this one. I'll set as 4 point away. I forgot to explain what that is. That is resistance, which refers to its blast resistance, how much it can resist TNT explosions. And then for its harvest level, 2. Did I mess something up here? Yes. Sorry, this is not meant to be 2. This is meant to be harvest level. It should be asking for the harvest level we set here inside of block in it. So this is, is the name, this is the um, hardness, this is the resistance, and this is the harvest level, which 2 refers to iron, 0 refers to wood, 1 refers to stone, and 3 refers to diamond. 4 refers to anything like more powerful than diamond, which isn't in Minecraft, but if you were to create a custom pickaxe that might be able to mine something that had a... Um, had a harvest level of four and you can create that. Now we have initialized it. Then we're just going to do register block. This is a very simple all it asks us for is the name of block and it does the rest of the work for us. For register renders, very similar, just register render tutorial off. And the block will be in the game. But it won't show up as a block because we don't have any models or textures. So go into your source main resources and assets as we created in the previous episode. Instead of models, change this from item to block. And also in textures, also create a dot blocks. So you should have blocks and items in each models and textures. Now, open up your reference libraries, forge source, assets, minecraft, models, block, and just find iron ore. Here we are. It's a block cue ball, which means it only needs one texture face of iron ore, as it'll be repeated on all sides. Let's copy this. And we'll create our own new text document. Paste that in. And we'll just put TM colon blocks and change this to tutorial off. And save this in our assets models block. This is going to be tutorial underscore or dot json so this is just referring to the location of the block texture next we need to create the item model for this block open up a new text document again and inside of models item you'll you'll find a lot more because all blocks and items have their own model all this does is refer to the parent block it is. So this just refers to the location block iron ore. Which we're going to go into our untitled. Put tm colon. And put it as tutorial ore. This is just referring to the thing we just created. The model tutorial ore. Give it a save. In tutorial mod source main. Resources, assets, tm, models, item, and call it the same thing. Final thing is block states, which we need to create a new package for. Assets.tm.blockstates. These refer to the state of the block. So block states here, and obviously find iron ore. And we go up here and create a new untitled text file. Instead of normally where you, put, where you put the TM in front of model, we actually put the TM in front of our name. So TM colon and then tutorial R. Give that a save and place it in once again source main resources assets TM block states called tutorial adaptation. I would double check that they're all called tutorial or JSON. If they are, 
then we can move on to the texture. I'll do the similar process to before, paint.net, not normal paint, paint's useless, paint.net, I will search through the default textures, that's a quick sneak peek at a sub future episode, default textures, blocks, search for iron ore, and I will get a orange transparency and place it on each of the non-stone pieces. And there we go. We just save that quickly. It's very simple. In our C Minecraft modding tutorial mod, source main resources, assets, TM, textures, blocks, tutorial underscore or. That's spelled wrong. Thought that's something that wrong. Make, always make sure your spellings are correct or it can lead to lots of errors. We haven't actually initialized our block. What we need to do, go into our registry handler and once again put, put this time, I, not item in minute, block init dot register renders block init dot init and block init dot register do all both of these two on the common side and this one on the client side once again we'll go back to the building box tab scroll down and we'll see tile dot tutorial all dot name because we haven't named it yet go into your resources assets lang in us dot lang this time tile dot tutorial underscore or dot name is equal to tutorial or. give that a save and it will load with the correct name but as you can see we now have a tutorial ingot and a tutorial or and next episode we can work on creative tabs and anything else you guys want me to work on, please leave down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you have liked this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see the rest of them, I'll leave the playlist link down in the description. And if you do want to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, my name is Harry, and goodbye.